Now, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing this true doctrine across the four winds of earth and all truth and in sincerity. I'm Lamad Ariyah from the Mississippi Count. Lord willing, this will be an edifying lesson. And um, this lesson, I'm just going to show a few headlines that I done screenshotted or screenshot to um, show what uh, what's being pushed. You know, what their propaganda focal point is right now, or at least one of them. And um, they're setting to pretty much divide the whole world, man, people. The jabbed and unjabbed. And then they're causing a lot of confusion regarding getting it, not getting it, being able to still get it if you get hit, you know. One, you wear a, a, a mask, whether you get hit or not. You know, it's just a bunch of confusion, man. And it's uh, really a bunch of bullshit, but hey, this is, um, this is all prophecy. So I'm going to read a couple of scriptures, then I'm going to uh, bring out the headlines, then I'll close it out. And Lord willing, it'll be edifying. This is the book of Mark, chapter 3, starting at verse 23. And he called them unto him and said unto them in parables, how can Satan cast out Satan? And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand and if a house be divided against itself that house cannot stand and if Satan rise up against himself and be divided he cannot stand but hath an end and this devil hath an end but in the midst of all this he's gonna cause you know people to turn against each other you know regarding the the you know what for those who got hit and those who didn't get hit See what we got here. And, um, okay, here's a headline from the Washington Post, which was July 31st, 2021. It says, hit up people are ready for normalcy and angry at the unhit up getting their way. You see that? angry the hit or mad at the unhit because they want a sense of normalcy things will never go back to normal it's over it's a wrap this is from CNN this was Saturday also July 31st 2021 it said some hit up Americans have lost their patience with those refusing to get hit as the C-19 cases surge and mandates return. And, and they're going to start mandating everywhere, especially here in Babylon. You're going to have to show proof that you done got hit up if you want to go in these stores, go participate in any kind of activities go down and out and you know they already doing this pretty heavily in 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 New York City and every everywhere else is going to start falling suit because this is the plan of these Edomites those who run this current uh uh rulership man No hit, no service here. It's like no hit, no service. 
here's where bars and restaurants across the U.S. are requiring proof of being hit up. You know, no hit, no service. And this from Forbes. And what was this? It was say August second, twenty twenty one. No hit, no service. Portland bars, Portland, Portland bar only allows hit up customers. You see, this is all about causing friction between the hit and the unhit, which is the going to start causing uproars. It's going to cause causing sedition. You know, people are going to start getting straight up knockout drag outs. It's going to be people getting put to death behind this. Because those been hit feel like those who haven't been hit are causing society not to get back the way it used to be. With the knowledge and understanding of knowing this is the will of Yahweh Hashem shot because these are the last days, man. And we're in Jacob's trouble. And it's finna... And this, this, um, all these different topics, all this pushing the, the hit and unhit, not getting along, angry at each other, blaming or whatever, it's going to start manifesting to physical contacts, physical altercation. And this was published July 29, 2021. Here's another one from the Sacramento Bee, August 4th, 2021. As the big C cases surge, these Sacramento bars are requiring proof of hit up for proof of being hit up for entry. This is the press Democrat beyond angry, growing divide over the big C one nine. Hit hit ups in Sonoma County. Chances now now this this title I don't know it, I didn't read the article. Let's see what this little bit say right here. It say Shelby Dotson, who was re recently denied a job opportunity because he can't prove his hit up against the C C V the Crown Royale and has started a petition to make that illegal. And this is to the August 3rd, 2021 in Santa Rose. Okay, so this guy started a petition, 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 try to make it illegal for people, I guess, not to have a, or be denied a job because the proof of not being hit. And see, that's gonna cause issues right there, man. People who know, man, probably gonna start cocktail, you know what I'm saying, throwing cocktail bones to some of these businesses, you know, out of anger because they don't wanna get the hit and being denied, and especially Esau, you know, feel like they're being cheated because this isn't, is their rulership, which they are being cheated because the elites have put a lot of these Edomites, you know what I'm saying, on the back burner, you know? And now they're starting to see it and feel it. This is from, I'm assuming CBS News, because that's their symbol. Um, as the big C cases surge, unhit up Americans trigger scorn, resentment from many hit up people. Hopes are getting, hopes are getting dashed for a summer that feels more like pre pandemic years now another feeling has overcome many of the hit up contempt because they're getting upset because society is not the way it used to be and the blame is going to be towards the ones who haven't been hit up let's see what this one say this is from CNN I think I just read that one then but we'll read it again. Some hit up Americans have lost their patience with their refusing of the of the uh the hit up 
as the big C-19 cases surge and mandates return. And, I mean, we knew these mandates would return. They was dragging their feet at first, but, you know, now shit is going down. This is from Eda, Eda, Ed Hat, however you pronounce it, Santa Barbara. So, log it for not pronouncing it correctly. And this was published August 3rd, 2021. And it reads Face covering to be required indoors, regardless of hit ups status. So, that's part of the confusion. So, even if you ain't been hit up, if you indoors somewhere, you still got to, you know, cover up. What's the point? That's, see, that's confusing. But see, this this devil, man. He's got the fork tongue. He, he's, he's the father of lies. You know what I'm saying? He'll say all these things, you know, make it smoother than butter, but wars in his heart. And all this primarily is targeted to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. And see, and that's why this kingdom is, is, is crumbling also because, see, this man doesn't know how to rule. You know, he's the man of sedition, you know. Uh, he, he's uh, just a, a destructive individual. He's the counselor of the earth, you know. That's why this place is not going to stand, uh, uh, other than the fact that this is the Lord's will. And Yahweh Shai is the, uh, uh, is the rightful ruler, you know. But with that being said, this devil don't know how to uh, rule. He don't know how to lead. And, and, and the proof is in the pudding. This is uh, from Fox News. Published July 29, 2021. Gutfield on CNN's, on CNN's Big C-19 comments battle between the hit-up and the unhit-up. That's it. This is, this is one of their primary goals is to turn the people against each other. You know, get that order out of chaos. Because it's going to be chaos when these people start you know because family's gonna start turning in. they gonna start searching out people which i i mean the brother was talking believe that they already got a you know that list of people of course who hasn't been hit up and they're going to depend on t particular people communities and people family members to help them track them down if they can't get them on uh, uh on site to rat them out you know they're creating a bunch of snitches This is from the New York Times, published August 1st, 2021. Unhit up, unmasked, and putting our kids at risk. And it's as if they really give a damn about the kids. We talk about the same people who orchestrated the Pizza Gate, you know, who, who's, who's kidnapping young, especially Israelite kids, teenagers, even some adults for for uh, human organ trafficking on the black market. They give a damn about the kids, but they pushing out all these candies, you know, GMO foods, you know, allowing transgenders to teach the children, you know, allowing children to decide to get a sex change. But they talking about we uh, people who don't who not been hit up or not wearing a mask or put in. The kids at risk. Man, get the fuck out of here, man. Every day, anyone wake up, they at risk living in this uh, wicked society, man. Because it's nothing but unpure, uh, 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 um, disgusting, filthy uh, ways, man. And, and pollution every damn where. The whole earth is uh, uh, defiled. As the scriptures say, roughly paraphrased. This is from The Hill. And it says, don't see when it was published, but this was a few days ago. I know I've seen this article. And it says, uh, Tyson Foods to require 
their people pretty much to be hit up and they want this done by the fall yeah, let me read it Tyson's Food Incorporation announces it is requiring all of its employees to be hit up by this fall so if you don't get hit up you're not going to have a job and I got a few clients who actually work at Tyson and prior Tyson was or is paying them a hundred dollars to get hit up you know man and, and a lot of our people not not hearkening not paying attention and they just going along with the get along just for this society to continue thinking it's gonna flourish and not knowing that this shit is over this shit is over man this devil finna come down with that great rap you can see it you can feel it All right, this is, I don't know where this is from, but anyway, it reads, no mask mandate in Mississippi, governor reaffirmed it, reaffirmed Tuesday. Okay, this was August 3rd, 2021, so they're saying no mask mandates in Mississippi, governor referred it Tuesday, right, but then... When you slide over to this next one, from the Y'all Politics, published August 3rd, 2021, it said Mississippi cities being implementing, began implementing mass mandates with rising cases. Now, which one is it? Is it no mass mandates in Mississippi? Or is Mississippi citizen beginning began implementing mass mandates? You know, man, this is just a cock up bullshit, man. Just a bunch of bullshit. So I'm gonna get a, uh, another scripture and I'm gonna close it out. Cause see, this devil speak with that forked tongue. When he speak, he speaketh the lie, man. He speaketh of his own. Let me see what we got here. All right. We're going to go into the book of Matthew, chapter 12, verse 25, and it reads, And Yahweh Shai knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. And this, this is, this is, on every level man when it comes to families the government just just people neighbors whatever this whole country is divided and that division is going to cause this country to be brought to desolation because it's the will of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh you know that's why we go on the highways and byways and prophesy the downfall of this wicked kingdom to chant down the walls of uh, Babylon you know, because it's going to be destroyed, man. And we're in that latter end, and Yahweh Shai is on his way back, man. So, a Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson. I just wanted to bring out a few of them uh, uh, headlines for those articles and news uh, podcasts and show what they're really pushing, man. And that, and that push, speaking on the unhit and the hit up, hey, it's going to uh, it's gonna start getting physical, man. And, and, it's, it, and they're going to be start. People are going to start snitching on the family members, the friends, the neighbors, whoever. The the hit up are going to start snitching and re, and reporting the unhit up man. So if you have a shot, if you don't have your house by shot in your corner, hey, you're going to be in a bad case, man, because all this is leading up to the MOTB which is one of the last prophecies that have to be fulfilled before the war of Armageddon, before the Yahweh Shai return, before the, uh, uh, the, uh, the battle of Jehoshaphat, man. The Lord's judgment. So a Lord willingness with edifying lesson. I want to give all honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders, a great millstone that rule well. Peace and salutation to the hopeful elect. Shalom.